What it do? What it be? I feel like it's time for me to make one of these. Uh, it's been a long time overdue for said myself. Um, anyone that knows me uh, can probably tell you how much of a big Spider-Man fan I am. That goes between online friends and IRL friends. All I'm saying is, Spider-Man that guy, you know? And with No Way Home coming out pretty soon, and all the rumors that comes with being that movie being that movie, why not go and rank all of the Spider-Man-esque movies that we have out now? And, uh, you know, give my two cents on things. Without further ado, let's get this fucking thing started. You already know how this goes. It's basically like a free bingo space. <laughs> free bingo space out of the way. Now we can start the tier list. Starting off with the Oest of G's, Spider-Man. We got the first Tobey Maguire movie with that man Willem Dafoe as Green Goblin. Now, this kickstarted everything. This, this launched us into Spider-Man movies. And uh, yeah, this was my childhood. When this movie first came out, I was a wee little baby. I was born in 2000, January. This was like my introduction to Spider-Man. This and the PS, uh, PS1 game. And uh, after watching it recently again, because I've watched all of these again to prepare me for this movie coming up. Um, I, I would rate this movie a, a solid B, you know? Solid B, solid B. It's good, not the best, it's not the worst, you know? It's a movie, and it does what it's supposed to. It introduces us to Spider-Man, and we get cool Spider-Man things. Okay? Okay. See, I'm going in with non-bias as a big Spider-Man fan, and I feel like I'm still doing biased things, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll let it rock. Also, I feel like, since this is the internet and I'm giving my opinions, ooh, I'm gonna, I feel like I'm, I'm gonna see a lot of dislikes and comments on this video. All right, next, Spider-Man Dose, the one revered, the one that's said to be the greatest of all time. Yeah, yeah, I like it. We could, we could put, we could put that on. Put that in A. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty fucking good. Uh, thing is, Spider Verse exists, and Spider Verse is in a fucking god tier level. You know what? Hold on. That looks a lot better. You know? Okay. <laughs> in a way, I feel like this <laughs> will probably make people even more mad, and I'm digging myself in a hole. Shh. Shut the. F okay. Spider Man Three. It's, it's a movie. It's Spider-Man 3 is, Spider-Man 3 is a movie. Pile of garbage movie, but it's a fun pile of garbage. If you go into it having a great time, say you're, say you're chilling. You just want something to watch or f fuck, you know? You're chilling with friends. You want a fucking movie just to w watch something. You don't want it for the plot. You don't want it for nothing. Toss on Spider-Man 3. There's, there's some gold in it. There's also a lot of garbage, but that gold do be shining through sometimes. I mean, you kind of saw that coming, but you know, C isn't terrible. But C is, C is pretty bad, but it's, it, you know, the next movie. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man 1. Um, you know, people give like this series in general a lot of flack. And I understand why, if you're like a Spider-Man fan and you're just like, what, why the f- why the fuck they make Peter Parker cool? No, oh, they didn't make him cool. He's still nerdy. You see, he has his name embroidered on his camera. He has glasses. He's obviously a nerd. Why is Peter so fucking hot? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop playing around, but like, I've seen the arguments for years. Decades. Or has it been a decade? All right, I'm gonna hold this up and you know, pet the movie where I'm gonna put the movie to show that I don't hate the movie but in terms of rankings gonna it, go go a so uh yeah keep that in mind I have a shirt for this movie <laughs> and uh please don't hate me for how low it is I like the writing the script was good Andrew Garfield kind of a goaded spider-man and uh that's that's what I'll say about that I'm not gonna mention anything about Peter Parker, but um, 
top tier Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield got that. You know, Emma Stone, Gwen Stacy, Sally Field, Aunt May. You know, we got we got the elusive man as Uncle Ben. That was that was a dumb joke that only Mass Effect fans will get. Bro, why is my hair looking extra long today? What the fuck? Alright. Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um 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 it's better than Spider-Man 3 <laughs> because the thing is there's there's some redeeming factors about the Amazing Spider-Man 2 that makes me enjoy it so much more than Spider-Man 3. Um first of all, the visuals are fucking chef's kiss in the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Like my god I will die on this horse. To this day, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and in some aspects, The Amazing Spider-Man 1, visuals for Spider-Man are fucking still up there to this day. Wait, it's so good. I'll, shit, I'll easily say they're better than some of Tom Holland's one. And it's, I feel like it's not fair to like put it against like, uh, the original trilogy, but like, yeah, it's obviously better than that. But like, it's crazy how good the visuals are. <laughs> kind of has the same problem as Spider-Man 3. A lot of fucking characters that they don't do shit with. That they're, they're just there. I like Church of Sandman, you know? Topher Grace's Venom is... is <laughs> woohoo! Topher Grace's Venom is woohoo! Uh, New Goblin is a character. I, you could say the same thing about Green Goblin in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Character, I guess. He's there. Electro. I feel like they they saw what the Ultimate Universe's Electro look like. Shit, I'll even put up a video game scene from the actual game. I, I feel like they saw that and said, hey, we could make that a, the character. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much the extent of Max's Dylan's character in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 other than being a fucking Spider-Man fanboy. Why am I saying that with disgust? Like, if I don't know who the fuck I am? <laughs> but yeah, no, I definitely, in my, in my opinion, yes, I still consider Spider-Man 3 garbage that you can watch and have a good time with. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, you can still watch. It's not as garbage, but I feel like you can find more enjoyment in watching it willingly than Spider-Man 3. And I'll leave it at that. And uh, yeah, we all cried watching uh, Gwen, Gwen Stacy. Uh, you know, uh, still a rough scene to watch. I forgot what technically came first, so I'll just rank this one next. As a Spider-Man fan, Venom without Spider-Man. It's a weird, but uh, I find Venom in the same vein of turn your brain off and have fun with it as much as Spider-Man 3. So that's, that's as much as I'll say about Venom. Time for some controversial spots for these movies. No, people are gonna be like, are you really a fucking Spider-Man fan? Yes, yes, I, yes I am. Amazing Spider-Man 700 just framed here. Is it that uh, Spider-Man 700 in my personal spots? Um, Homecoming, not that bad, to be honest. It's legit like an old Spider-Man comic. Teen, dra teen drama and all. It's not that bad. I personally think all the Spider-Man ones are on the same level to me, to be honest. They're just different variants. I feel like Spider-Man 1 and Homecoming are just slightly different takes on the 616 universe. And the Amazing Spider-Man is like kind of a take of the Ultimate Universe's Spider-Man, but they're both, they're all three of them are fine. It's, they're okay, okay? Okay? Good. Now that we got that out of the way. Kind of liking, I kind of like the story of having to fill in footsteps for a fucking idol that is way bigger than you and all that pressure on yourself. I kind of, I like the story, okay? I'm, I don't want to fucking hear it, bro, because I know I'm going to fucking hear it. I know I'm going to hear it. 
I know some friends are probably going to question my picks. I know the internet will probably judge my pick, but I personally like watching Far From Home just as much as Spider-Man 2. I like the action scenes of both. I like the visuals of both. I like the story of both just as equally. If I were to watch both Spider-Man 2s back to back, I would have a great time. That is a great day to me, to be honest. So, uh, I that is my pick. I'm putting it in S. Personally, I like the story. It feels like a modern-day Spider-Man comic. I think Jake did pretty good as Mysterio, because Mysterio is kind of fucking weird in the comic, so it's... They did... <laughs> I like the movie, okay? Let me have it. <laughs> and it's honestly, I think it's a really good idea to make a modern day Mysterio a VFX artist or be surrounded by VFX artists. You know, he's an actor in the comics. <laughs> he's, he likes putting on the play. He likes making the illusion real. And, uh, <laughs> I would say they nailed that on the head for this movie for what he does. So I like the Spider-Man suit he makes at the end. I like the red and black suit. I do. <clears throat> I personally think Tom Holland is like the best Spider-Man and Peter Parker same character. I think this is how I've always said it to my friends. I, just, I have to reiterate it every time we talk about stuff like this. When we talk about Spider-Mans. I think Toby is the, a great Peter Parker. I think Andrew is a great Spider-Man. I think Tom is a great mix of both. I think he does both pretty good, honestly. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's just that's just my take. Also, uh, Let There Be Carnage isn't on this list, but I would uh, I would definitely slide it in right here next to the Amazing Spider-Man 2. I think it's better than the, the first Venom movie. I really do. I enjoy it a lot. They embrace the fuck out of the comics. It's like reading an old school Venom comic. Hold on, wait, let me, let me. I had to go get a comic from my fucking comic book box. Let There Be Carnage is like reading an old school comic like this. None of y'all know that, but I'm just saying. Let There Be Carnage is full of 80s comic book cheese and I, adore it for that because most comic book movies like to just you know will nod to the comics if it was stupid we'll we'll hint at it ah the costume is dumb we'll nod to it let there be carnage said fuck that we'll embrace that shit and run with it people have no idea how much of a cheese ball venom is in the comics early comics not before he got all dark gritty and real like <laughs> i'll put up my favorite picture as an example that i like to use in response to people but um yeah that is my spider-man movie tier list tell me how much you guys hate it in the comments below uh because i know a lot of people are probably gonna be like what the what is that tier list? Or if you don't want to actually be mean and you want to genuinely have a conversation on what you would switch around or what you wouldn't put, what you would put where. Uh, this is probably like the first and maybe only tier list video I will ever do unless, you know, something else happens or something else comes out. And I'll probably do something else like this. This was just on a whim. I'm trying to prepare content because I feel like I'm going to be off the internet this entire week, so yeah, no spoilers for me, and I'm just trying to get videos prepared ahead of time, uh, and if there's like, you know, any drop miss days, you know why, it's because I ran out of videos and I, you know, not here, <laughs> but anyways, appreciate all the love recently and hope to see y'all around more, I will see you guys in the meantime soon. I might do I might do a review on No Way Home once it's out and once I watch it. So if I do that, that'll be dope. I might get some friends in on it to talk about it. If not, 
it'll just be me. But I'm really looking forward to this movie, and yeah, feels like an event. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys soon. Later.